Hello guys, my name is Guillaume and welcome to a new episode of Hit The Tone. I hope you're doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone on Tom Hanks' Guitars and Basses. If you're not familiar with the format, I'm taking bits of really famous songs and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. And the cool thing is you get to decide what song I'm going to be doing next. Just leave it in the comment section down below and I'll get to you as soon as I possibly can. While you're down there, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel. That would be amazing. Thank you so much in advance. And with all that said, let's start with today's song, which is Ain't Talking About Love by Van Halen. I never wanted to do Van Halen on this format because to me this is one of the few tones out there that are completely unobtainable. You can get close, you know, you can approximate, but there's so much of it in the fingers and so much of it in the way that he played that makes it completely unrealistic for me to say that this is it, this is the sound. But because we lost such a legendary guitar player, I think it's our duty as, as fans and as, as guitar players in general to make sure that his legacy lives on, whether through his, his songs, through his techniques, through his gear. So, yeah, there we are. As far as guitars go, it has an immense line of signature instruments by EVH, by Charvel. I don't have a preference as long as we're looking at a humbucker and the bridge guitar, which is all of them. It's fine, that guitar will do. And this one happened to be the only one left in stock. And that's something that we're going to talk about throughout the entire rig. But yeah, this Wolfgang guitar is one of his signatures. So that's obviously going to work. I'm going to be using the bridge position and that is my basic sound. <laughs> And obviously this sound wouldn't be complete without the other effects that go into it, so we're going to have a look at this in our amp and pedal setup. And this is very murky waters that I'm stepping in because I have some information, obviously, but I don't have all of it. First off, for all of you guys out there saying, why are you playing this amp again? Why are you not playing an EVH? That's on you guys. You literally bought all of them. I wanted to take the EVH head and cab and do the full rig, but it's just not in stock, none of it. So I had to find a different solution and that's pretty cool because that matches with the format. As usual, I want most of you to be able to get to that sound without spending a ton of money on, on a new amp or whatever. So I had to go on with some pedals that I will be using with my Fender Hot Rod Tweed Edition. The controls will be on your screen as usual. And the pedals that I will be using today are both MXR EVH signature pedals, the Phase 90 as well as the 5150 Overdrive. And this is where it starts to get a little bit complicated because although I knew these are EVH pedals, these are the sound, I wasn't too sure about the order of the pedals. Am I putting the Phase 90 before or after? Did EVH have it in the loop of his amp or in front of his amp? I've had some conflicted information so I just had to go with what sounded best to me in that room. So I'm running the Phase 90 first in the chain into the 5150 overdrives will show both controls on the screen as well. And both of these pedals are running into the Dispatch Master by Earthquaker Devices to get that delay that's happening on that riff. And turning all of that on is going to take me there. <laughs> Now, I have no pretension whatsoever to say that this is EVH's sound. It's impossible, I still stand by that. But in fairness, that's about as close as I'm able to get. And I assume if you get that kind of gear, that's about as close as you guys will get as well. So with that said, let's go on to the final part of that video, which as usual is the most important and is how to play the song. <laughs>
reminder time before I get into it, there are links in the description box down below to all the gear that I'm using today, some more alternatives at different price points, as well as a link to the tabs for this introduction. Now to play the song, you want to tune your guitar in E flat. That's half a step down on all the strings. So not drop tuning or anything, your shapes remain the same, but half a step down. And we're going to start by having a look at our fretting hand. <laughs> On paper, it doesn't look too complicated, but there is such an immense amount of control that go into that intro. In the pull muting and the releasing, when you get on that G note to go back to the chord, it's it's really, really, really precise. That mixed with the phase 90, and so there's a really strong notion of tempo, of speed with it, because it's all you know, being washed by that and the delay and all. So you really want to work on the accuracy of your fretting hand, and that goes along with the picking side. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> Obviously, control on both sides, it means not only the chord there, but the muting on your picking hand and how you're going to release the strings on that last G to give it that sustain before you dive into the chords. Yeah, so much precision work, even if it doesn't look, it doesn't really feel like it, to get it clean with that amount of effects is, is quite complicated and that's what, you know. That's why EVH is EVH, really. But with that said, I think that's it, guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Ain't Talking About Love by Eddie Van Halen. I hope you enjoyed that episode. I hope maybe you've learned something today. Again, we lost one of the greatest guitar players in the world, and I think it's our duty to make his legacy live on for as long as humanly possible. So go learn that song and rock it as hard as you possibly can. Please let me know in the comment section which song you'd like to see on the format next and I'll get to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit The Tone.